All right, so once again, it's time for you to get a bit of practice with what we've been talking about. This time, it's an exercise on merging and conflicts. Now, this exercise is a bit different. It takes a different form. Um, instead of just following a step-by-step -step set of instructions, you know, where I could have asked you to make this file, make this branch, merge that branch into this branch, and then fix the conflict, right? I could tell you exactly the steps you need to do to create a merge conflict and then resolve it. Instead of that, uh, it's going to be kind of the opposite. I'm going to tell you that uh, I want specific requirements for a merge. For example, I want you to create a, a scenario that results in a fast forward merge. So I'm not going to tell you the name of the file, what to change, what to add, what to commit, what to merge. All that I have are these three scenarios, and then you need to engineer them. And while it may not be as easy to follow uh, or as mindless in a way where you just step by step do what the instructions say, it's definitely a better test uh, of your understanding of how merging works. So you'll need to make a new repo, make a file or two in the repo of your choice, name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Just some place you'll be working in. So I'll call mine greetings.txt. So I recommend you just stop right now and try it. Um, the instructions are pretty straightforward. Basically, it will say something like, make a new branch. Do some work in the repo, it's very vague. Do some work in the repo such that when you merge that new branch into master, it generates a fast forward merge. So what does that mean? Where, where do you do that new work? What does it look like? It doesn't matter what it actually looks like, the contents of a commit, but just generate a fast forward merge. Same thing here create a new branch, make some changes to the repo such that when you merge the new branch into master, it results in a merge commit. So again, very vague. Uh, and this should not result in any merge conflicts. So you have to understand or you have to try and, and think about how do I create a conflict and how do I avoid a conflict? And then the final piece is to do the same thing, work on a new branch, make some changes to that branch or to master or both, who knows, and being vague, such that when you merge the new branch into the master branch, it results in a merge conflict. So merge it, see if you're right, and then resolve the, hey, there we are. I don't know why that didn't load all the way. Resolve the conflict, okay? So I'll try this, uh, but I recommend you do it on your own, right? This is a very important exercise. Merging is, is important to understand the distinction between these types of merges. So uh, I'm going to make a new folder, make directory merging exercise. I'll cd into that, make sure I'm not in a repo, I'll init, and then I'm just going to add this file I'll be working with, I'll call it greetings.txt, and I'll add and commit. So this is on the master branch by default, add greetings file. Okay, so the first bit is generate a fast forward merge. So make a new branch and do some work on that branch or somewhere so that when I merge it into master, we get a fast forward merge. So I can name this branch anything. Um, I'm gonna go with Spanish because I'm doing these greetings, right? Different languages. Uh, I'll have like hola and bonjour and hello and stuff. Okay, so I make this new branch and to generate a fast forward merge, Again, I hope you're pausing and doing it yourself, but if you need a reminder, all that needs to happen is that when we branch off of master like we have, we don't touch master again. We can add as many commits as we want to Spanish, and then we merge that into master, but we don't change the master branch in the meantime. So all that master has to do is catch up on these commits that we've added to Spanish. So uh, if I open my files, so open, I'll just open everything in this folder. Here it is, I'll add in Hola in Spanish, okay? So that's our greeting and we'll add this. I'm just gonna do a single commit. That will give me a fast forward merge. So git commit dash M add Spanish greeting. Okay, now I'm on the Spanish branch. The goal is to merge the branch into master. So I need to switch to master and then I'm gonna generate that fast forward merge by git merging Spanish. So git merge the Spanish branch, whatever branch you did, when we merge it in, there we are. I got a fast forward merge. So if you see that, whatever your contents are, whatever your file name is, if you saw fast forward, good to go. Okay. So again, what happened is that I had some changes on a branch, some new commits, just one commit in my example, but it could have been 10 commits or more. doesn't matter. Uh, but what matters is that my master branch that I merged into 
has not changed or did not change in the meantime. So all I had to do was catch up, fast forward to get those new commits. Now that's gonna change with part two. Generate a merge commit with no conflicts. So this time I'm gonna make a, a new branch and make some commits on it. But to generate a merge commit, I'm also going to make a commit on the master branch. And to make my life easier uh, to avoid conflicts, Git can sometimes merge stuff in the same file uh, without conflicts. But what I'm going to do is just make a new file on a branch and we know for sure there won't be a conflict. So let me do this full screen here. I'm gonna make a branch, git switch dash C French. Okay, and then on this branch, I'm gonna add a new commit. I'm gonna do some work. So why don't I just add uh, to my greetings file, bonjour, right? Bonjour, nope. Okay, and then I'll add that change. So git add greetings, git commit dash M, add French greeting. So now this branch has a commit that master does not. But I'm not gonna merge just yet. If I did, it would be a fast forward merge. So now I'm back on the master branch and I'm gonna make a new file. Um, what do you call uh, like <laughs> goodbye and au revoir? And, like, are those greetings? Are they, is there a term for that? Ah, how about farewells.txt? Okay, so I'll make this farewells file and it's just gonna say goodbye. So now I have some work, if I add and commit, on the master branch, a new commit, git add farewells, git commit dash m, add farewells file. That's on the master branch. So now there's a commit on the master branch that doesn't exist on the French branch, and there's a commit on the French branch that doesn't exist on the master branch. But there shouldn't be conflicts because those commits don't overlap, right? This commit was on the farewells file, totally separate file. The other commit, on the French branch was in the greetings file. But even if they were in the same file, it doesn't necessarily mean there would be a conflict, but we know for sure there won't be, or at least there shouldn't be. So make sure no uncommitted changes. And now git merge French. And we get this merge commit. I'll just leave it as is, merge branch French, close out of there, and there we go. If I type git log, we now have that new commit in there. Here, let's do a one line, okay? So here is where the French branch was. The master branch was here. And now we have a new merge commit. And this is where the master branch currently points to. Now the final piece is to do the same thing, but now deliberately generate a conflict and merge that conflict. Well, not merge it, resolve the conflict. So I'll make a third branch. Uh, what do I want to change on one of those branches? So I'm gonna change the same file, the greetings file. On the master branch, I'll probably add hello in there. And then I'll make another branch where I can add a different greeting. How about um, Japanese? If I can spell konnichiwa correctly, we'll put that uh, on, a, on the greetings file on the Japanese branch. So I'm gonna make a branch right now, git switch dash C, Japanese. Okay, so on this branch, I'll put konnichiwa in there. And then I will add and commit git status, git add greetings, git commit dash M, add Japanese greeting. Now I'll switch back to master. And before I do any sort of merging, I'm also going to make a change to greetings. And this will generate a conflict, especially because it's on the last line, right? And I just updated the last line uh, on the Japanese branch. So I'll put hello in here. So now if I add this, git add greetings, I'm on the master branch git commit dash M, add hello. Now we're going to have a conflict. When I merge that Japanese branch in, it has a commit that updates this line. And there's a commit on this branch that the Japanese branch does not have that also updates this line. So we should get a conflict, git merge Japanese. And we do. That's good because that's what the exercise called for, conflict. So let's merge it. Uh, I believe I just said resolve it in any way you'd like. So I'm gonna keep both of them, right? Why not? So I'll do accept both changes. If I use VS code, I'll just click that, or I can just delete these symbols myself. Up to me how I wanna handle that. You don't have to keep both of them, but I will. So we save, and that's not enough to resolve it. I mean, technically, I guess you could say we've resolved it in the file, but if we uh, type git status, 
right? It tells me that we have unmerged paths. And if I do a git log, we don't actually have a merge commit yet. So I need to add those changes. Remember, after we uh, resolve conflicts, we add the files with the changes, and then we commit. And we'll do something like resolve conflicts for now, or merge X branch. And now we are done. So if we do our git log one more time, we now see we have this new merge commit where we resolve the conflicts ourselves manually. Git couldn't just make the commit for us. Uh, and we successfully met those requirements. So first off, we made a fast forward merge. We did some commits on a branch. We merged them into a branch that had not changed. No new commits on that branch. So it just caught up. Then we had two different merge commits. One uh, where we tried to not have conflict. So I just edited two different files, one on each branch, and then one where we deliberately tried to get conflicts. So I edited the same file, two commits on different branches, same line, there was a conflict, we resolved it. And then we added and committed and we are done. Okay.